Hello and welcome to another episode of Level Up Delis. I'm John and Levi. And we are here to bring you another video because every week uh, we are dedicated to give you some info on either unboxing or playthroughs or interviews. Yes, or tips and tricks to help us level up our game. It could be anything because it's all about having fun and improving the quality of life. Me wondering of what to unbox. <laughs> We've got a special surprise. We've got Here. two big boxes. Whoa, that's one. Ugh. As I wonder what we are going to unbox. I wonder what game's in the bag. Two boxes that um, that we're going to unbox. I... Look at this. Oh, there's going to be about a little bit of cleaning up to do. Oh wow! You would do this with you would do this as an exercise break. <laughs> Can you lift it? Oh, gentle, gentle! Don't break the table. Okay. This Chronicles of Dragons: Age of Darkness. Wait, Chronicles of Dwemnagel. Yeah. Age of Darkness. That's right. Chronicles of, of Dwemnagel. Dwemnagel. Age, Age of, of Darkness. Very good. So, okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what's in the game contents. As, as, as this game, you know, it includes the Undead King Boss 100 millimeters miniature cards. You, you have a back cloth bag. So you can only bring just some of the components to somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. And there are 226 cubes, no wonder why this box is gigantic. Alright, so we've got some description of the game, but and that's some, not the exciting part. And some Let's parts are left to open. So we will start where we left it open. Chronicles of Dwanagore. Age of darkness. <laughs> so let's have a look at each component. It's so big. Can you even open the box? Unboxing. I think this box is bigger than you. No, that's not true. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Ah. Wow. Okay. So. So those were the door cards. What, what are these? What are these? Those were the door cards. Door cards. Do you tempt the hen of fate? This is the oh, rule that's... book. This is the rule book. Actually, can can we do this? Because this box is so big, I don't think we'll be able to see. Let's move it aside, right? And then we can see. This is. Oh yeah! Two woods tiles. Oh, let me smell this. It smells like new paper. <laughs> it does. It smells like new color paper. Very nice. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Wow. This is a this is an actual book. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's next? Do it at best. Do it. Do it. The adventure book. Okay, and what's in that? What's in the adventure book? Chapter one. Door O one. Two one five G three E four F. Don't know what that means. <laughs> I know what that means. D4. So this is the first chapter. Mm. We need to find these tiles and then there's a door at the end of that map. Because if we look a little bit further, every chapter has a map. And how do we know what map it is? What? Well, by those codes. What part reminds you that there's a door? Where it says door. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm, smells good. Smells like oh, new paper! Yes, this is a much better book than um, the last few games that we opened. It's better. It's even better than the Games Workshop one. 
Well, I don't know about the layout, but the quality of the book is good. All right, what up? Just start, what start that? here. Start here guide. All right. So that's the quick start guide for us to learn how to play the game. Very nice. Oh, what's that? Book. What, what is that? What is that? But, but in 21, the Occupies is coming. The apocalypse is the 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 apocalypse. The apocalypse is coming. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but that means there's going to be more amazing mini. So that that's going to be a good thing. All right. So that's an ad for us to buy the next thing. A letter from Team CGS. Um, yeah, you would try to read it. Okay. So. First of all, this game is by Creative Game Studios, hence CGS, and uh, this is a thank you letter, I think. Dear Becca, our team is ex extremely pleased to deliver you the results of years of work. With your support in, de in the developing stages, with your feedback, votes, and, and on Facebook groups, and questions during the Kickstarter campaign, we are very proud of the final product. Sorry, it says the final result. I'm just making up my own words. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to read the words. Yeah. Our team devoted endless hours to fulfill our duty and to make sure that you will end up very pleased. As promised, we are delivering COD, Chronicle, Chronicle of Dranagor, Age of Darkness on time. Inside the box, you'll find our passion combined with your voice, great material and quality fused with your trust caused quality fused with your trust our team would love to see your faces as you enjoy chronicles or dr dr <laughs> <laughs> our, our team would love to see your faces <laughs> as you enjoy chronicles of drenaga <laughs> <laughs> we we hope you share pictures and feedback of the unique moments you and friends take together. Well, in fact, that's exactly why we're doing this video because uh, if this is fun, we want to share it with everybody and and, and yeah. you guys back at CGS. We can do as a YouTube video. The team CGS includes some unique mechanics that will increase your immersion and interaction with the game. And last but not least, we have a surprise for you. Ooh. All our doors have a QR code with an ex exclusive random system that allows you to scan the door and play different adventures, changing each game's playability completely. Wow, okay, that's a big promise. Um, you've accepted the challenge to fight darkness. Have you? I haven't even fight darkness. <laughs> they just... Yeah. <laughs> it's just dark. You can't fight dark. They just... And today you begin your adventure into the first chapter of the epic adventure to save our world from evil power which is destroying everything we love. That's no good. Uh, darkness devastates our world and brought us to our knees. But now our heroes must unite to face collective power of shadows. Are you ready to start your journey? Because you believed in us, we went above and beyond to make you a proud owner and a happy member of the CGS family. We thank you and hope you enjoy COD Age of Darkness. Sincerely, Team CGS. Wow, this is the first time I received one of this. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so Even what's I made next up my own is words. the Players Aid Soft. Players Aid Soft. That's good. So I, I guess it's, it's double sided. Yes, it is. So I guess typically games have a little card for this and they Players made it into a, a whole page. That could be, yeah, like this one, it would be called the Player Say the Top. Yes, okay, hold on. Let's tidy this up a little bit. What's that? The Interactions Book! Covered wow. in plastic. It is covered in plastic. That is very cool. Well, we can't have that. We need to open it. So what? Wow, this is very good paper. Let's let's be nice to this paper. As yeah? I wonder what. Be, be gentle to the paper. I wonder what are the parts in this book. Two o six. Attack the soul. 
one nine six talk to the soul. Two four six try to banish the uh, try to banish the opposition. But hey Levi, do you know what this is? The what is it? Haunted door. No, what I mean is, what is this book? The interactive book. Yes. So what this means is, throughout the campaign of the story, we're going to come across these areas, and when we come across the situation. You can pick what you want to do, and then something different is going to happen. Ignore the warning and go through the portal. Close enough. Okay, that's very cool. Uh, I want to see the end of this. It's got a map. It's got some credits. I think this is the really cool part about the game. Um, they have made it interactive, so there are things you can do. I think there was even a Kickstarter part in the campaign where people, uh, certain supporters, can have their own faces. To be integrated with part of this book, which is super cool. Yeah. Anyway, let's not ruin it because we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, very nice paper. Very nice. Paper. I like the books so Map far. tiles. Map tiles. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh wow. Okay. Mm, okay. Let's open this. Can I open it? So many. Remember before how on, on this is the darkness. Levi, do you, do you remember before in the in the book there were these code code names? Yeah. This is the map. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that art. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This means when you move. This means when you move here, this means you get minus or increase stats from your from your abilities. For example, this says minus one move. So you get one rest move. Are you making this up or are you actually I'm actually reading it. You're actually reading it. Oh yeah, okay, minus one move. <laughs> You're one step ahead of me. Yeah. Alright. Okay. What is this? This is the this is the uh, what what do they call it? Is this is a campaign campaign notepad or something? This is like that safe pad we had for um, we just saw in Tainted Ground before, isn't it? Yeah. So let, let's put it on the on the table and the camera can see, yes. So what happens here is um, put, your, put your health points here, you can have some notes. Oh wow, okay, so as you play you can make notes here yourself. You can have your own name, so Levi would put Levi here and the hero would be Papa. No, I'm kidding, I mean um, whatever the characters are. Yeah. Um, and then hero classes and stuff. I don't know what that means yet. But we'll this is the note. This is the bag. This is the bag. That's the one. That's the bag you could carry. Just some components to somewhere else. What are you going to carry in here? I would... <laughs> Darkness is coming. <laughs> All right. Um, um, okay, and a um, little bit of background of the tokens. of the campaign. I think they raised about half a million dollars. Lots of tokens and components. Okay, well that's cool. Uh, all right, well that's that. Let's have a look at what this is. These are boxes. 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 Now I've noticed they all have the same. Um, the same one, so I guess it's not a different box with a different class, it's just... That's the base attacks! Components to be Base sh attacks! Shared? Base attacks! Base attacks! And then there are cards in here, inside cards. the component. Cards! Cards! You know what, this is good, because I've just bought a lot of sleeves for these cards. cards. Alright, so these are weapons and stuff. Okay, so for example, Death Skeltima. 
Skelmata. Skelmata. I can't even read. Deft Skelmata. Um, which is a curve bleed. Are you can have a look at it. I know you love reading this stuff. Symbol, symbol equals symbol, symbol equals symbol. Well, that's very cool. Greater Cloak of Spellweave. Silver Round Shield. I think these are high tier items. Studded Shadow Leather. Okay, lots of cool stuff here. So I think these are stuff that we can yeah, find in the journey. Need some of them. And upgrades. Um, okay. Nice quality cards. Smells good. Um, seems decent. Um, yeah, quite thick. So I like it. At the moment, they seem a little bit sturdier than... Um, just seems sturdier than Blood Rage ones. So that's good. I can see they, um, they have a little finish here. Now you can put the cards back. Yes, now we can put the cards back. Prepare this for oh, What is this? The Mandacore Longbow. Just put it in. All right, okay. All right, all right, Levi. Yes, boss. All right, put it back. Uh, this is going to be the same, but this looks like uh, a familiar, okay? So this looks to be the same. So I think these are character trays. Yeah, as they look like the same as these. Yeah. Cards! Cards! And as we play Cards! As we play through, I think we'll be able to put a character's cards all in these individual boxes, so it's easier to continue. All right, what, what have we got here? What is this? More maps! Oh wow, that's a cool one. Let's... Map of the map. Map of the map. What do you mean map of the map? Because the maps are double-sided and it just means them double-sided. <laughs> they the are double-sided. The what is the map of the map? Well, it's, I want to show the camera. That means it's that was the work of art here. Me thinking of a me. That's very nice. Double sided. For the rest, I just say double sided. <laughs> double sided. Thank you, Levi. They are double sided. That's double cool. sided, double sided, double sided, double. <sighs> now. What is this? Character boards! And what is this? This is... Uh... Okay, now, I want the camera to see this because this game tray... Um, tray... Is, it has a special design to it. I don't know exactly what it is yet. They have special shapes. I guess we'll find out. Um, but that's... It's a very nice touch. It is like a maze! All right, what do we got here? What is this one? Mm-hmm. The camp. Boss. Hero cards. Hero cards. Hero cards. I like the finish of this. Um, it's not just a plain sheet of paper. It's got a bit of texture. So I like that. I like that thought. So these are these are double-sided. Wait, no, only this one's double-sided. Right. Um, we got some hero cards here. Pretty cool. Ah, you got two heroes. Ah, okay. I think that's the stretch goals unlocking these. So you have two versions of the same class: human cleric, human cleric, shadow. Assassin. Well, she looks dangerous. She looks cool. Elf Assassin. Right. Elves. Very cool. A bit like zero. Very cool. But it has this. Elves. Elves. A bit, a bit like the number zero. Oh, here and we go. Because of the A is added to it. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Bleed. So these are traps. And this is what? This is um, a ship? And what is this? Let's have a look at what's in there now. I wonder where do the tokens go? I wonder. Where? <laughs> right here. <laughs> so, what we're talking about here is these tokens. 
So typically, these tokens are very hard to store, but yeah. it looks like the game designers have thought about that already. So after they come out from this piece of paper, they're gonna go in here. Yeah. Yep. Very, very cool. I will tell you so what time? DNA is again. <laughs> okay, tell me what DNA is. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Thank you. Now, Next. this is to fit in here. These are darkness tiles. Okay, can you punch one out? Gently. Because I don't know how. Oh, these are quite thick. Yeah. I wonder where does this go? That goes over. This is like a mini game. That goes. I'm not going to use the T word. Oh, wow. This is satisfying. Do you want to do something, Ryan? Do you want to poke some? I like to focus on so, okay, this okay. at the moment. Focus is good. All right. Let's let's talk about these darkness tiles because I think this is a very unique system based on the Kickstarter info that I read. I don't know one and a half years ago. Um, I think darkness is kind of like a mechanic to hurry um, to hurry the heroes along. So as you go through the map, darkness will fall onto the map. So you got to keep going forward. Someone can probably do a full video on this. Just punching out these darkness tiles. <laughs> that, it is that good. How are you going, Levi? Good. Good? Are you having fun? Yes. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's cute. So they've got a, a logo printed on the piece of cardboard. You, you can put the, you would put them on top. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. See, this is this game is educational for children because it helps them build logic to find shapes. How about that? Buy this game to help your kids learn shapes and stuff like that. Ta da! So, here are the darkness tiles. Okay, so that's that. Oh, check out these! Look at this, Levi. Look at this. What is that? That's a little woofy. There's a little birdie. Let's call it eagle because eagles are cool. And there's a mean looking bear. And, um, and lots of cool components. All right. Does this fit? Oh yeah, it just fits. Satisfying. Yes. Yes, sir. So one thing I've noticed is this game says is um, three to five players, but we've got six of these. So that tells me one of these is either backup or they were just thoughtful um, to use this as a generic token holder that you can put whatever you want in it. You can put your money in it. You can put your, your Friday night game pot in there or whatever it is. All right, so that's, that's all the that's tokens, stuff. cards, components. We haven't looked at these. So let's have a look at the cards themselves. Oh wow, they have a QR code here. Let's have a look. Those three, those three and three. So what it says here is, okay, naturally they're doors, but what here is, um, you've got the chapter name here. So I guess as we go through the story, we start off with chapter one, I guess, go to chapter four, eventually the 17, uh, and then on the back of it, it gives you a story plus how to set up the game. Right, so that's pretty clever. Pretty clever. Why doesn't every game do this? Oh, that's right, because it costs a lot of money. Okay. Are you purposely messing them up? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just trying to have a I, look at everyone. I caught. Yeah, have a look. Of course you can have a look. Just. You know what I think, Levi? <laughs> I think you enjoy playing these cards and those just more than the board game itself. Okay. <laughs> I always just like three of you. Hey? 
I always like to be with you. I love you. <laughs> okay, one thing I've noticed is these come with a little bendy thing. I don't know how that works. I think you are supposed to fold it in like this. I hope I didn't just destroy this card, but and then you put this at the edge of a tray. I think that's how it works. Anyway, we'll find out. All right. Oh, Ooh, what is this? Miniatures. Okay, these are heroes. Ah, oh, that's cute. So they have, they have put the company logo at the bottom of this. This is nice. Yeah. Instead of a number or blank, they have their logo on it. That's very nice. I think these guys just put themselves on the map. Well, for me anyway, because they're so far they've done a very good job. I can't speak for the gameplay yet because we haven't played it. But in terms of unboxing the components of it, it's really good. Now, the Kickstarter part, uh, let's quickly talk about that. The, the crappy thing with all of this awesomeness is the shipping because they've got so much stuff. So shipping was a was a big part, unfortunately. But if you buy them retail later... Enough minutes to sell. <laughs> yes. If you buy this in retail later, you're not going to have to pay, pay for that crazy shipping and you still get all of this goodness. I think that's, that's really good. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, these are very nice. In fact, some of this detail, I um, I like it more than the Zombicide one, which is what got me started uh, liking board game miniatures. <laughs> All right, okay, let's put them back. Yeah, you said that's enough, so put them back in the right place. Okay. Turn it around. Okay, and I guess, I guess these are thoughtful areas where you can put more stuff in. Very clever. All right, so I'm gonna put the lid back on here and look at the next tray. Oh, oh, okay, what's this? It's also a maze. That is the map, Levi, I think. These are the maps. Because, you better, okay, I'm gonna show you. I saw this, I read this online in the Kickstarter. So for example, this is the map. And we have a door here. And so the door actually goes here. Yeah. Two-sided. There's a door. Oh wow. Yep. So that's very, very clever. You can have one one door here, one door here, one door here, one door here, depending on the map. Obviously, but um, the okay, one thing to note before we move on to the cubes is this game trays uh, is very thick, good quality. So that's different to the these ones, the generic ones, which is a lot lighter, easy to bend. This one doesn't bend a lot, and I guess this is a key component of the game. If this is broken, um, a lot of things wouldn't work so well. Uh, but I can see that they've put, a, put quite a bit of thought into here. And also, there are multiple versions of these trays. Um, so you can have 3D maps. Maps that go together. Right? 3D maps. How about that? How about that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so cubes. Powerful cubes. Yep, I'm in cubes heaven now. Huh? Mix, mix some colors. Mix, mix some, some colors. colors to make a color. What is uh? Mix. What, what is what is yellow and 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 blue? I don't know. Green. What color you would what color you would make if you are mixing yellow, green, and red? I think orangey. Well, there goes my color skills. I failed my color charts. Yeah. So we've got tons and tons of cubes. Hmm? All right, last but not least, out of this gigantic box, once again, reminder how big this box is. 
huge, all right, in comparison to my head. Yeah, that's that's how big this is. I've got a big head. Um, <laughs> this is the Boss Miniatures. All right, first of oh wow. A huge miniature. Huge. That must be the boss. Yes. And the cute thing is, at the bottom of all of them, they've got the company logo. Oh, that camera out of battery. These look a bot, look like abominations. Scary monsters. Like these one. This might be the boss. So there's three of each, and there's one of this boss. It might, this might also be a maze. Yeah, I think we, we might do another video of all the miniatures without Levi. Um, because Levi doesn't like to look at miniatures. All right, the guys have partnered up with game trays to make these high quality trays. This tray is so much better than some of the Simon ones and also the ones from Steam Forge games. I mean, they make good minis, but this tray is next level stuff. Yep, so really like it. I guess these to me would be the, the same quality of the Tainted Growl trays from uh, Awaken Realms. Um, I love these trays, very nice. All right, so I don't know how to put these back together. I'm gonna try my best. See, they, they are little grooves here, and I think that's clever. So that kind of tells you they stack this way. Stack this way. And then game cube over here, just like that. So let's put these back, or at least try to. And actually, this is one of my favorite parts, is how hard or easy it is to put everything back into the box. Because if we can't put things back into the box easily, what does that say? That says um, pack up is going to be a nightmare, right? So we're just going to do a quick test. Um, keeping fully in mind that I'm at noob level, I don't know where anything goes here. Um, I guess I can re-watch the video to find out, but that's not the point. Um, so oh, this tray. This tray goes above this tray. Fun is good. <laughs> All right, so this. I don't think it goes like that. Let's try this one. There's some grooves here. Uh -huh. That goes here. Ah, they locks together. Nice. Okay, and this guy, long I one, goes here. What's the box? Yep. See the bottom of these trays? These are some grooves that fits on these ones. So when you put them back together, they they are tidy, nice and tidy. That's good. <laughs> so, what's this? Uh, uh, A memory? I think it was the... All right, so this is relatively easy to pack back into the box. I don't know where these goes yet, so we'll have to find out. And also, I think there's some, yeah, so we need to figure out how to pack the doors, but okay, so far so good. We just, we just can hang off the other box. That's exactly what we can do. We're gonna open the other box. Okay. And what does that say? Chronicles of Dragor, Age of Darkness, but spoils of war. 
Now what this is, these are the stretch goals. I think. I think. All right, let's open it and find it. Maybe all the components are in the wall box. Thank you. What have we got here? Oh wow, these are so much bigger than the other one. Content book. Is this still a part of the game? I'm confused. Is this still part of the main core box or is this the stretch goals? That's how the stretch goals look like. You've got to get these. Chronicles of Drenagor, Age of Darkness, 12 hero miniatures, okay, 12 heroes miniatures are definitely stretch goals. We need this while I'm doing tricks, like I said. So, what are these? I remember these, yeah, these are definitely stretch goals. So, extra miniatures. These are very detailed. That's very cool. Ah! Okay, we've got some monster cards. That's nice. More area for us to store cards and components. Uh, and then more stretch goals. I think these are hero, hero, yeah, the extra heroes. Yes, oh, that assassin I saw before, whatever her name is. <laughs> Levi, you can just show this camera. Levi, look, look, can you see? And the hero boards. Now, because these are double sided, again, with lots of information and their skills, uh, if we're going to go to an area where you can put their cubes, their upgrades, attach onto the side. That's very cool. Well, Levi is showing that. Yeah, the other one looks like this. So these are smaller. I don't know what these are yet. Okay. Pretty cool. And controller. Remove curse. Dungeon roll. Ah, okay. Let's see what they are. Dungeon rolls. Defender, leader, striker, support, controller. Okay, so that's crowd control, CC, we recall. Defender, someone that uh, takes the damage. Leader, inspire the team, typically. Increases the party stats. Striker. And I, I see they've got different colors, so it must be a coloring system that's easy to read. I don't know what they are yet, but that's pretty cool. Stun enemy, one damage and stun. Okay, all right, cool. All right, that's that. And what are these? More cards! Ah, these are skill tree. Skill tree, I can't believe they implemented a skill tree. That is pretty cool. Now this is pretty thick. This is pretty thick because um, <laughs> this, this is pretty thick because we've got so many heroes. Basically there's one card, one sheet for the heroes uh, for each of them, I think. Bob. So for example, it says warrior, cleric, warrior. Shadow Knight, Sorcerer, Shadow Knight, Sorcerer, Hero Class, Sorcerer. So every class they can branch into a different subclass, I think. So that's why there's so many of these. Um, so if you have a look at, for example, the Assassin. So this is the Assassin. We have Precision, Changed Odds, Flank Them, something like Backstab or something. Okay, so these looks like um, class upgrades, and then we've got uh, more. So pretty cool. Uh, all 
All right, so I think that's it, guys. That's uh, that's all the components within the Chronicles of Dranagor, Age of Darkness, Core Box, and Stretch Goals. <laughs> At the moment, I'm a little bit lost as to uh, which ones are Stretch Goals and which ones the Core Box. So I need to probably do a little bit of research online to check that out but um at the moment i'm very pleased with all the components it's yeah it's just nice i was just saying to my wife that um i think these components are better than some of the more expensive games that i've bought but of course component quality is not the only thing the game has to be fun um and i remember reading um back during the campaign they they are emphasizing how important it is for a game to be fun so i i look forward to see how they have implemented uh, fun in the game um but that's something that we're gonna find out that's very cool and look this is a nice touch for example this component tray where we have five slots that look exactly the same and you can fit any hero in it yeah and for example these holes you can fit any hero in it. You don't need to fit the specific one into its unique slot. That's clever. Yeah. So, Levi, after all this, what did you think? A great unboxing. And uh, what part did you like about this the most? The door tokens, the skill tree, and the... Maps. The maps. Okay. For me, I I mean I need a deep look into the minis, but I like how these minis look. I can't wait to paint this one, for example. She looks mean. And um, the textures are very good. Look at look at that. So the cloak, the hair, the pants, you know, it's very nice. Um so yeah, I love the miniatures. One part I like the most is those uh, darkness in different shapes. So for example, these guys in different shapes, putting them in the box, that's very cool. Oh, that's a nice shot. Yeah, thanks Levi. Um, that is very cool. And the storybooks, all the books components are very cool. So that's my second favorite, the books. Uh, they just, just, yeah. Just good quality. <laughs> just, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> They're just good quality, so I like that. And the last thing is, um, <laughs> thank you for clapping. These trays, the trays are nice. The way they fit together are very nice. So I appreciate that. Um, yeah. And that's it. And this is the unboxing of the full Kickstarter set. Um, Chronicles of Dranagor. Chronicles of Dranagor and um, Age of Darkness. Age of Darkness. Now, I hope you enjoy this. Like and subscribe if you like our video. And I hope um, our excitement and joy came through in, in this uh, video for you because it was really fun to unbox <laughs> and, and to open. <laughs> See, there you go. And uh, also, so I hope by watching this, um, you've got a good idea of whether you want to buy the game after it comes out in retail or buy it off online somewhere, right? And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. And Thank you for watching. Hey, don't forget your dance. Dance. Dance time. Yeah. Yay! 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 Yay!